It's okay, come in. Come in. Come on, have a seat. Thank you, Sha. Ah, it's very hot today. Yes, it's almost what? The whole week. Yes, it's very hot. And I think this is because of global warming. Yes, I agree with you, Mike. You know what, Sha? Uh, I remember last year when I was studying in Australia. I was studying about climate change and global warming is one of the factors why the world is now getting hotter and hotter. That is interesting. Can you tell me more? Sure. Welcome to Global Warming. What is global pollution and how carbon pricing may reduce carbon pollution? Carbon pollution has caused cyclones, floods, sea level rise and droughts. Cyclones will cause property damage and loss of life. Sea level rise will cause flood. Meanwhile, droughts will cause shortage of food. Global warming, what had caused this? Human had produced greenhouse gases since industrial evolution until now. Greenhouse gases are emission that rise into the atmosphere and trap the sun's energy, keeping heat from escaping. This is why the earth is getting hot every day. As the temperature rising, some part of the earth, like North Pole, the ice starts to melt. According to IPCC, since the Industrial Revolution, the atmospheric concentrations of several Greenhouse gases, which is carbon dioxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbon, nitrous oxide, and tropospheric zone. These gases has been increasing in amount due to human activities. How does carbon affect global warming? Carbon pollution has influenced evaporation process. This can be seen where in one part of the world the precipitation amount has increased. Meanwhile, on the other half, the water resource has reduced and this has caused drought. Carbon pollution has also affected the sea level. It can be seen that sea level is now rising from year to year. This is because of heavy rainfall and also melting of ice at North and South Pole. However, carbon is still important to us. This is because all the greens still need carbon dioxide to produce photosynthesis in order to release oxygen for respiration. There are two types of carbon sink. First of all, forests. Forests will capture carbon dioxide and produce more oxygen. Meanwhile, ocean is our second carbon sink. According to Hardy, Apart from the forest, the sea also acts as a natural carbon sink. The ocean is a sink for carbon dioxide. The pH of seawater is buffered against change by dissolved carbonate. Atmospheric carbon dioxide dissolves in seawater to form bicarbonate and hydrogen ions, thus acidifying in order to lowering the pH of seawater. Carbon dioxide is important for the trees but it also important to plankton in the ocean in order to undergo 
photosynthesis using energy from sunlight to convert carbon dioxide that is present in seawater. As a result, oxygen is generated and the process is recurring and called as the global carbon cycle. Carbon cycle is a process where rainforests and ocean absorb and restore the carbon. However, deforestation will disturb this process. In order to reduce carbon pollution, emission trading system was introduced on 2012. ETS has introduced carbon taxing to farmers and land managers. Farmers and land managers are encouraged to grow more trees in their farm in order to absorb more carbon from the atmosphere. In return, the government will reduce the tax and this will increase the income of the farmers. Other than carbon taxing, the Australian government also extend their emission reduction by encouraging households and businesses to change to renewable energy in order to generate electricity by planting solar panels on their rooftop. IPCC has proposed approaches for carbon pollution mitigation. Developed countries have agreed to reduce emission of carbon as stated in Kyoto Protocol in Article 17. They also agree to restore forests and stop cutting trees. If they do so, they still need to plant new trees. Other than that, they also promise to change fossil fuel to biomass in order to increase the carbon storage. According to UNFCCC, on 2005, ever since Kyoto Protocol was developed, many countries in the world, especially developed countries, have started targeting for emission reduction. Emission trading system was proposed in order to help countries which have exceeded their emissions target to buy credits from other countries as pointed out in Kyoto Protocol in Article 17. As a result, carbon is now traded as a commodity in international carbon market. Developed country has started developing carbon storage as a way of atmospheric carbon emission mitigation. It can be seen that more trees planted to restore forestation and react as a huge carbon sink. Other than that, biomass is used to replace fossil fuel and carbon burning used for engine combustion is reduced. Developed nation is now open to collaborate to help developing an industrialized country with training activities and institution building in order to produce more expertise. Financial barrier is reduced as poorer country did not have sufficient capital to have advanced technology in order to mitigate the carbon pollution. According to Healy, internationally more renewable technology and energy is adapted by developed countries such as Australia and developing countries like India and China. This renewable energy has helped to decrease the use of fossil fuel to generate electric city. As a result, carbon pollution is reduced as renewable energy is used. As a conclusion, global warming is due to anthropogenic activities is proven as reported in IPCC third assessment report. Rising in global temperature has resulted in a lot of natural disasters. Meanwhile, flora and fauna which cannot tolerate with the change is dying and having possibility to extinction. Therefore, actions need to be taken in order to reduce 
were carbon emission. Finally, lots of study need to be done in order to reduce gaps and uncertainty. You're welcome. Come, Mike. Let's eat. The food is getting cold.